Spinal cord stimulation and neurostimulation. Spinal cord stimulation history. Neurostimulation has been used since 1989 to treat pain in people's back and limbs. This technology works by applying an electrical current along the route of pain transmission. The stimulation may be over a peripheral nerve or over the spinal cord nerve tracts transmitting pain signals. The electric current blocks or scrambles the pain signals as they ascend the nerves and spinal cord. This effect interferes with the brain's ability to interpret the signals as pain. Because of this breakthrough treatment, there has been much advancement in spinal cord stimulation technology over the last several years. In fact, patients who have tried other treatments such as medication and painkillers but had little relief of their nerve pain often achieve 50 to 70 percent reductions in pain using spinal cord stimulation. This treatment may not work for everyone, but many are able to return to their favorite activities they had been participating in before they encountered back pain and nerve pain. Spinal cord stimulator procedure. Today, this procedure starts with local anesthetic applied to the area going to be treated so that you are comfortable throughout the procedure. Then, a hollow needle is inserted near your spine in your lower back where soft, thin wires are inserted along the spine and positioned just right to give you the most pain relief. The wires that were inserted are then hooked up to a temporary electrical stimulator battery. The treatment will be monitored throughout this device for anywhere between three days and two weeks. If this seems to get rid of the pain, then a surgically inserted permanent battery will be installed and a hand-controlled remote will be used to help control the pain. Call Jackson Neurosurgery Clinic for more information about this amazing procedure at 601-207-0502. We are open from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday.